Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to talk about stress and how it makes us fat and a couple other things. Fear, the fear, the anxiety, the fear, this chronic fear that so many people are living in of getting fat. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it and how that actually exacerbates everything and makes everything worse, right? Do we think that fear is a great way to get to where we want to go and a path of alignment and flow and all the things? No, yet we use it all the time in health and fitness to drive us, right? What do most people do when they want to lose weight? Oh, I can't be fat. Freak. I got to exercise more. I got to eat less. Oh, it's this very fear-based mindset and it makes everything worse. And I would say at this point in my career, at least half of the people who come to me have hypothyroidism. I'm telling you guys at least half. I'm not a hypo. I'm not a thyroid specialist. Now as a holistic health coach, you got to understand the thyroid <laughs> because it's a basic part of human metabolism. But what this means, it means that their thyroid gland, which is right here in your neck, has slowed down your metabolism. And you are now like, this is why people generally hire coaches because all of a sudden they're like, dude, I don't even really eat that much. And I just keep getting fatter and I have no energy. And like, what the heck is going on with me? And you know what I have discovered in my experience, what leads to hypothyroidism is too much stress too much stress. The body is so resilient. It can handle a lot of stress, but it can only handle so much at once. So what are you doing in your life that's pushing you over the edge? If you feel like, dude, my body, I just keep getting, gaining weight. I can't lose weight. It's harder for me than other people. Right. And a lot of this is mindset. A lot of this is proving it's fear. It's I'm not enough. If if I'm like this, so I have to prove that I can be more worthy if I lose weight. And it's this very fear driven thing. And it dry, it literally what, what happens as a result of that mindset, you start over exercising, under eating. And what happens to the thyroid gland? It gets the memo like, holy crap, we are under even more threat. So we need to like shut things down and preserve even more. So, um, Okay. Hashimoto's. Yeah. So the, there are some autoimmune sides to the thyroid, right? So of course, if you have some autoimmune issues going on with like, such as Hashimoto's, that's going to impact the, the function of the thyroid. And that's like a deeper, deeper issue, right? And you probably want to work with a specialist on that, like a naturopath or a, a thyroid specialist. I'm talking about like, why are so many people getting hypothyroidism in general? They don't have an autoimmune issue. It's just their thyroid production is going down. And some of the things there, there are some, um, nutrient parts of it, right? Like selenium, iodine, magnesium. There's some big hitters on new, um, minerals specifically that we need to check and make sure are on point. That's why I use upgraded formulas for that. There's a link in my bio for all that stuff. So if you feel like your metabolism is sluggish, you might want to get your minerals checked um, and obviously get your thyroid checked. And it's, there's definitely a place for, uh, thyroid replacement medications, right? Like if you have zero free T3 going on, like you're going to feel like crap, have no energy. It's going to be horrible. So there's a place for that, right? There's a place for Western medicine. There's a place for that. But what me West Western medicine doesn't do is say, why, why? I wonder why your thyroid is sluggish. They just say here, you have a slow thyroid, take this medication for the rest of your life. I appreciate the emergency intervention, but the next step is why, what's going on there? And it's too much stress. And your job as the curious person that's in charge of your own health is what's going on. What is the overstress? Do I have too much inflammation? Am I eating too much sugar and processed foods? Like someone just said here, do I have high blood sugar? That's a big one, right? Do I need to get my blood sugar regulated by exercising more, uh, lifting weights, doing high intensity interval training, walking, eating fiber. If my gut can handle it, cause a lot of hypothyroid people, your gut, it impacts your gut health too, right? So you might not be able to do that. You might have to decrease fiber, get your gut health. Honestly, for people like that, like sometimes, um, a short stint of like carnivore or very low fiber keto, even though I wouldn't recommend that long term for someone with hypothyroidism, it can help with that gut healing and that blood sugar regulation and send them into a really favorable place when they start bringing carbs back in. So anyway, my point is what the question is, I, I guess what I want to say in this video is do remember that putting insurmountable amounts of stress on your body all the time is going to take you the opposite direction of where you want to go. So I just had this conversation with a client this morning. She's like, you know, we're working through some stuff with food and allowing herself to eat. And I'm like, you know, 
I'll tell you straight up. The only way I know my period is coming is because I'm hungrier the week before. That's how I know my, my period's coming. That's it. And I just allow myself to eat. And she's like, that's funny. Yeah, my, my period's coming this week, right? And I have had a client with hypothyroidism tell me as she been on her, as she went on her healing journey, she's like, you know what? If I don't allow myself to eat more the week before my period, I won't get it. I won't get a period. But if I allow myself to just eat, I will get my period. So if that's not a, like a push for allowing your body, like being nurturing with your body and you know, it's like, okay, yeah, you can eat donuts and all that stuff. But like, think, what does my body need? It needs nutrients. It's nutrients. I'm hungry. Right. And it's okay to eat sometimes. Um, over 90% of hypothyroidism is Hashi's iodine can actually make this worse. Please see a functional medicine doctor before starting supplements. Yeah. If you have Hashimoto's or any, like if you think you have thyroid issues, go to a naturopathic doctor, have them test all your stuff. They know the deeper levels and they can help you figure out exactly what you need. It's not a great idea to just start crap shooting supplements and all of that. Like you can actually find out what you need. So testing is always helpful. But my point in this video is if you're overtraining like a mofo, if you're starving yourself to death, you're going against the grain, you're making it harder. So don't be afraid to nurture your body when it's hungry. Everything will balance out. Think nutrients. Think my, what does my body need? Today, I just walked at the gym. I'm not sitting outside the gym right now. All I, I was just, mm, just walking feels good today. So that's all I'm doing. Hit it back with weights tomorrow, right? So be nurturing and don't push your body way past its limits. Don't be afraid to eat. Don't be afraid to just have a rest day. You know, if you can't sit and chill for five minutes without feeling uncomfortable, what is that? What's going on there? That is going to drive you into hypothyroidism and adrenal fatigue. I'm telling you. So it's like, we have to balance all this doing and this action and this, yeah, we're badass mofos and we can do a lot, but we have to balance that also with recuperating, sharpening the saw, allowing, doing something that's fun for us, chilling, <laughs> taking the pressure off, you know, in a loving way not a cheat meal way. Like I don't, I can't stand that mentality. It's not, nah. you're always in control of your decisions. Always, always, always. And it's like, what do I need? What's best for me? You know, and choosing that in alignment. What do I need? Yeah. Recovery is essential mentally and physically. Definitely sleep where you're worthy of sleep. <laughs> if you're having issues feeling like you're lazy, if you sleep like dude, that's got it. That stuff's got to be healed. Like what happened in childhood leading you to think that you got to prove your value so much that you can't even freaking sleep. Really? You know, and everything gets easier as you just become more nurturing and self supportive and self loving and like giving yourself what you need. That's all. Okay. Um, I have Hashimoto's and everything you're saying is right on. Yeah. Yeah. So any sort of something that's going wrong in the body is always a result of too much stress. So what is that? What find out, be curious. What is overstressing my body? Right? Think of it, injuries and then muscular injuries, too much stress. Something was going on. Something didn't have, something wasn't functioning correctly. You put too much stress on it. You push past, past its limits, limits and it broke. Same thing can go with our metabolism. It's like, okay, I, turns out I had heavy metals and I didn't even know. And then I was like driving myself to the freaking ground with tons of inflammation from training and starving myself and life stress. I just pushed myself past my limit, right? So get curious about what your body needs. We need more of this energy of what do I need? What is good for me? What is self-supporting, self-supportive? Not these extrinsic barrier, like, like expectations of this is how I have to be. No, take it back inside of yourself. And it's like, what do I need? I got you body. I got you me. I'm with you <laughs> in a nurturing way. And like everything becomes easier, everything. And you become happier and you find solutions and you're more self-compassionate and your body says, Oh my gosh, it's safe. Now my metabolism can operate well. Oh my gosh. Thank you for taking care of that thing. Thank you for finding out why you had high blood sugar. And thank you for starting to ch make changes in your life. So that can be easier. Your body's you're trying, your body wants you to have ease always. Okay. So we just have to show up for it and say, what do I need? What do I need? And I got you and I'm with you in this. Don't be afraid to eat <laughs> and look for nutrients. Don't be afraid to rest. Don't be afraid to recover. Don't be afraid to take a day off. Don't be afraid to say no to people. Like, what do I need? You know? Okay. Kind of all over the place, but 
it's just, so, it comes up so much in my coaching of just this like almost hysterical need to be doing more than I already am doing. Like I'd be better, be, I have to be different. I, uh, it's just so much pressure. And it's like, take that off and say, and come inside of yourself and say, what do I actually need? I got, I got me. <laughs> and everything becomes so much easier. Okay. All right. See you guys. Bye.